Hey, Chapel here, doing another solo Reincarnation 8 walkthrough, and today we're playing as the Turtle. And this is looking like a good start already. Um, we've got the actual weapon damage, or the Dominating Fist. And um, I'll uh, try out the Libra. Libra, is that how you pronounce it? Libra Warrior? Yeah, we'll give that a go. Libra, Libra. Um, and starting weapon here, do flowing light, woodpecker, just try the woodpecker start. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure how this uh, blessing actually works completely as to um, like sort of whether you start benefiting off um, like skill damage to get weapon damage and that kind of thing. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but I've uh, I played this character the least out of all of them anyway. So in general, I'm a lot less uh, knowledgeable about what to do on Turtle as opposed to all the others. That's a, that's a pretty good first scroll to get though. Um, this character spams secondary skill a lot more than uh, some of the others, so being able to have high capacity on that will make it um, a bit harder to run out. Uh, we've got duration or 20%. Okay, well, I'll actually try this. I've not really taken this censure much, but with the. Um, the weapon damage start. It uh, seems alright to be taking one with the reloads and ammo. It should help solve ammo issues in general. Especially right now, we're running double large ammo weapons, so it should help out with that a bit. Okay, we've got Peddler here in the vault. Let's try the spear a bit, actually. Oh, wow, that's doing a lot of damage. Flowing Wind, Corrosive Shard gives us slow immunity, sure. An early Demon Law. Uh, nah, I won't do a Demon Law though, that's a bit boring. And nice, we've got Boulder's Vault early. We're going to have a lot of scrolls coming really early into the run here. Hold on to Torment. Okay, we certainly don't have ammo issues anymore for large or special ammo weapons. I'm gonna strike them now. Sure, take that. This gives us a uh, piercing weapon for the horse heads. Be good. And goblet, tidal rhythm. Um, yeah, I like the tidal rhythm here. Gives us two ascensions so far to be swapping in and out of Aspis to get bonuses for. Oh, okay. Um, reload time on a Mag 2 weapon is interesting. An enhanced brief respite. Uh, okay. I'll try this out. Mm -hmm. 
There's a rainbow arch on the ground here. We'll see what that's going to say. Ah, nothing too good. One um, helpful thing to know on this character, if you bring up your Tidal Aspis, then um, it resets your dash cooldown. So you can do a regular dash and then put up the shield and dash immediately afterwards. Oh, I missed the lucky shot there. Yeah, missing the second mag on this weapon isn't a good idea right now, that's like the one doing most of damage. Too great there. Let's scrap this. Uh, I like the oven flow. It takes out the pool as well, it's a one pointer, so makes it easier to get our other ascensions in the meantime. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna have enough damage to do a seal defense. I think this is the easier of the two early seal defenses, but even so. Yeah, our damage is pretty low. Maybe this is more damage right now. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm struggling with these weapons. I did. Maybe as long as I don't let the fire traps get through, then I'll be fine. Like that. Oh! Oh dear. Nah, there's so much suffering here. I'm really struggling to clear all of it. No, I don't get it. At least this doesn't kill you anymore. <laughs> Good old seal event before, like, just getting it was a death sentence, because if you didn't have the DPS to clear it, then um, you just straight up die. So shame to miss out on the scroll for that, but that was always going to be a um, pretty tricky room to, uh, to pass this early in the run with pretty mediocre weapons. But um, we've got, like, fairly lucky with scrolls so far, so this is not the end of the world to miss out on one there, even if it was a um, triple choice chest. Oh, I was wondering right here. Okay, this will either be Horsehead or the Beetle. The Beetle is obviously a lot easier of the two, so I'll hope for the, the Beetle fight. Damn. I didn't get it. I'll try to deal with these first. Oh. oh no, that's mine. 
really didn't want him doing the hard summons, but there we are. Oh, what? I was in his face. Usually he doesn't um, summon these if you're doing that. I think I can just, yeah, finish my thing earlier. Uh, nope. Actually, I could have maybe taken the Justice. Yeah, Justice would have been good, actually. It would have been better than the Strike Wing. Oh, okay. Um, I quite like the surprise bonus. We're gonna take that. Some chance to get the double damage punches. Pretty good here. Discover. Hmm. I'm not using elements right now. This is a decent damage boost in the meantime. It's not bad at all. Like, uh, we don't um, get any value from Elemental Torment right now, but if we get a, like, Realm of Corrosion or one of the other rings, then. We can benefit from the explosive bullets and still be benefiting off that. Oh no, I really want to get rid of this bullet thing. Oh, I'll go kill the snipers next. Oh, it's just the one snap, I thought that was two. There we go. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that's silly. Just dashed right into the uh, field there. Uh, we won't use Pupil right now. I just want to try and stick with the um, non-element explosive bullets. Okay, here's another, another one for swapping in between the shield. Enhances the next three shots. Pretty good. I think that's everything. Nah, I don't fancy losing half my health right now. Um, ooh, an illusion would be much better damage than the Argus, but I think our boss damage should be fine with what I've got already. Or it'll be a bit below average, but it should just be good enough to not make the fight take forever at the very least. Well, I might be wrong about this, this might be a pretty slow fight. Surely the lucky shot's enough to... Wait, oh, nice, okay. I was about to say I should be shooting the barrels as well in these next minutes.
Da o teamă. Good flu fight. Oh, uh, rich privilege. Okay, cool. So, based on that, I'm gonna try not to be spending gold on upgrades and just be taking the uh, best weapons that I can find along the way. We're we'll just trying to maximize the value of the rich privileges. Definitely mortar here should be uh, pretty alright. There's some alright inscriptions too. Dominating fist. Uh, yeah, that's easily the best one here. Pretty uh, good combo. We'll always have uh, quite high stacks on um, on what's it called? I've gone blank on the name. Uh, wait, is is it just called? No, because strike and punch is the name of the thing. But oh well. No, nah, it's, it's annoying me now. What's the name of it? Oh, Fist Sensation, that's it. Oh, wait, it's this event. I didn't even notice. Oops. Ow, that one shot hurt a lot. <laughs> I think I managed to get the arsonist with the barrel there. Yes, there we go. Good shot. Oh, it's a fire damage one. Okay. I think that's still worth taking though, just to uh, get some single target damage here. Uh, I'll take a legendary scroll still, even if it does um, reduce our rich privileges damage. Still good. And we got heavy shield. Pretty decent one to get. Good defense. This character does like new speed, but even so, being able to ignore normal damage 50% of the time is a big deal. Scrap that. And nice, it's uh, either boulders or the jumping puzzle. Oh, boulders, that's fine. Give one a cult scroll. This currently does nothing. I'll do that. Phantom's going to back. Three legendary scrolls already. Um, if we get a no reload setup, there's a chance that the magazine stops doing anything. I think uh, maybe the rich privileges though, just like on the house. It's uh, still somewhat early in the run, and it'll save a lot of gold. So 
think that's actually um, a lot better than it uh, usually be. Oh, this is a pretty annoying event as well. Ow, oh, yeah, and I just took a lot of damage. Oh, I get rid of the lightning enemy. First, they are the biggest threat. Oh wow, I shot actually just killed it in one. I didn't expect it to do that much. This weapon is just really overtuned in terms of its damage. Especially when compared to the other launchers, which typically aren't that good. Because I think I get weapon damage based on my striking punch damage, so may as well just take the bonus on that. <laughs> Mid-air strike, sure. Um, nothing else worth taking. And um, doesn't look like there's vaults, so we'll just go to the next stage. The rogue villains first, for sure. Rogue villains always one of the um, biggest one-shot hazards in reincarnation. Eight, you got to be really careful around them because they just do an absurd amount of damage. And um, even if you have uh, defensive like lightless shield or whatever, they multi hit, they got a shotgun, so they can kill you through things like that. Oh no. Oh, that was such a bad time to release shield. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Yeah, I realised immediately afterwards I didn't have time to um, dash out in time and dodge. I guess I'll just spend the gold. Oh, okay, that's good.
These are all pretty good options right now. I want to be getting this as one of my defensives. I think it's really good. Um, but also, getting points in this just increases our damage so much in general. I think it would be silly to pass up. And we've got plenty of other ways to find good defensives, so I think it probably is the better choice right now. Okay, this is going to be the Lizard Elite here. I don't think it's quite as good. It looks slightly worse on paper. And I don't like the Shriek quite as much, so we'll scrap that too. Merciless combo, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of weapon damage. <laughs> we'll take that for sure. Even on a weapon like this. I just realised I've been very lucky so far on what all the enemies have turned into. Me up there. Let's get rid of that ASAP. Oh god, the uh, I died last run to, well I lost my revive um, in the tiger run to a corrosive enemy, so that would have been pretty sad if it happened again. I need to remember I've got the Thief Respite as well, but the build I'm running right now it's like not that convenient to be weapon swapping. Hopefully this Phantom Peddler gives me um, a more useful scroll for the build. Brief Respite is, is a very, uh, or the Enhanced one is very, very good, but it's like, it becomes a lot better when we're using a build that's um, weapon swapping a lot more. Nope, not that. Oh, that's very good. Okay, that's so much healing. I think we take any of the weapons there. Jump around here. Doesn't look like there's any vaults. And the fire dragon, have a quick look. Nope. Don't need that. Oh, defensive robust. That's pretty annoying um, tags to have on an enemy with this kind of build. Just all um, skill damage and explosive damage, like it doesn't headshot. Oh, this headshot, so there we go, that makes it easier. Good, good. Oh. Uh, it's going to be one of the jumping puzzles as well. That's a nice, easy two, two chests. 
two scrolls. Yeah, let's get rid of the snipers first, actually. They're gonna be a bit of a nuisance, otherwise. Oh well. <laughs> so we can go behind the pillar straight away after. Oh, this event, I just realised what event it was. Oh, that's so frustrating. Unless you're flat out one-shotting stuff, which we are really not got the enough damage for in this build to do. This takes a lot longer to kill stuff usually. Pressable surge. I think after dealing damage with. Oh, actually, yeah, the weapon damage. Like, usually I would take that, but I quite like the idea of just getting as much weapon damage as possible here with this build. And we have a lot of striking punch stacks with our. or our fist sensation stacks with our dominating fists, so. I think that ascension becomes a lot better with this blessing. God, we are really slow right now with this heavy shield. Okay. Oh, I missed the jump. That's a shame. This is going to be hard with so little. Oh, there we go, just about made it. See that vindictive nature's easy choice there. And Genesis is okay. If we get um against the flow, we have a pretty good no reload setup to do. We don't have a no reload setup with just the Genesis though, not quite. Speaking of no reload, here's a demon law. And that's a very good strike wing, but there's a lot of uh, elemental weapons in this shop. Bullet light, I like that. I didn't see if um which boss this was actually. Oh we've already done that. Hopefully it's Wing God, because he got a dragon chaser if it's a Wing God fight, but Oh good it is. Nice. Okay, we'll use Dragon Chaser then, that's uh no brainer. Very good weapon for this fight. Even though it's uh, not a particularly good one we're using right now. I mean, it's, it's got fire damage, so it's got that going for it at least. Oh, and um, wow, that's stupid. A bit more okay. There we go, got the lock on again. Very nice with this weapon as well, how you can just put the mark on and then just focus on the mechanics of the fight, just dodging everything. That said, I don't have enough new speed to even dodge that, so it's unfortunate. I'll have to sort of foundry probably. Uh, I can't dash out of that either. One more trap spawn. There we go. Oh. Didn't get it again. 
There we go. Spot, but there's not much health left on it. There we go. Nice. Yeah, lucky we uh, still had a hold of this thing with the um, deafening mortar. That would have been a much longer fight. That's an unusable scroll. That's just going to get us killed. Um. Yeah, damn, none of these weapons actually- oh wait, oh god, I nearly scrapped that, I just realised what it's got on it, never mind. Yeah, this is good. It has got, um, lightning balls, so this gives us miasma. And... Between this and Rogue Wave, I think... This is going to give us a lucky shot at the rank 3, we want to get this. Getting this to rank 3 would be very nice. Let's see what we get for our third blessing. Uh, copycat, I quite like. Yeah, copycat's good. Make us stronger on these um, regular floors. I don't think our defense is that good right now, so yeah, getting the extra defense from copycat would be uh, pretty nice. doing a good job of hitting these shots and I really wasn't applying the um, elemental effect for ages as well. I gotta say though, Prism's a pretty hard um, weapon to aim in general, especially on small enemies like this. I'll have a proper look at that tide cannon in a sec, you probably don't take it, but I'm intrigued because this, this is a good build setup for a tiger cannon for the most part, so... Ow. Peddler here, immune to curses. Sure, I can do that. Oh, okay. This can set up into no reload very nicely. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this. And another fire damage dragon chaser, but we're not gonna do that one. Okay, let's um let's try something with this. If we can get against flow, then this immediately becomes really, really good. We're not gonna do weapon upgrades right now though. Of course we've got the rich privileges still, so we don't wanna overcommit on spending gold. Okay, let's see uh This thing should be and I can actually reload with my uh Tidal Aspis so I think I can do this and yeah, get the magazine back. So yeah, I, I could, um, if I just get the magazine size a bit larger, then this can work. It's just going to be a bit clunky to use for now. Also, these kills aren't counting currently, I don't think, so I'll swap to the prison in the meantime. Oh, good. Well, my shield's actually broke there for a sec, I think, so they just refilled, like, immediately. Oh, I'm missing one headshot. There we go. Yeah, there we go. He's got my spawn in there. Cool. 
Nice. And uh, persistence, sure. And we just got a regular sort of fighting vault. Get a luxurious. Um, well, I want to be trying no elements at all still, so I'll swap out this. We've got more than enough um, of things already. And I think we've got enough lucky... Yeah, we've got enough lucky shot to take that. And I don't think we'll ever be uh, using up gold. I can't see my gold going down at all. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe if we get really unlucky, but... I, I swear... Okay, yeah, it's going down a little bit. Five. Okay, not not with this one though. Oh, okay. Let's well, be careful. I'm gonna put on single shot for now as well. I might uh, find it easier to keep up the, um, the stats if I do it this way. More cost projectiles, right? That's great, it's not working very well right now. I swear that I'm not getting the um, extra projectiles at the moment. I'll try it when I get outside the vault again. But it should display on the UI when I'm getting extra projectiles on the weapon. Hey. Can I get my... How's he not have corrosive applied to the blow? <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so unlucky with these um, Alempi props. Enemies very long headshot. There we go. Okay. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the lantern spawn behind me there. Oh, there we go. Against flow. Perfect. Nice. We got our no reload setup. Um, there were actually uh, weapons with the right Gemini at the pedal back here. I'm just going to grab one of those now. They didn't have band magazine sizes. 35, or they both got 35. I'll just take that. I'll take that, that, and scrap this now. And yeah, now it has a much bigger magazine size. We still want to find a uh, new replacement for the lightning blast as well. Big Hippo or gloves with like extra magazine size would be perfect. Because I think if I turned it on to double shot, I'd still fire way too quickly to um, not ha be having to reload. Oh dear. I took the shield off too early there. Careful, got no shields right now. Ouch. They're really not that tanky. But. Oh my god. That's scary. Oh, he's a uh, powerful, that's why as well. That makes more sense as to why he just immediately broke shields. Okay, we got uh, the triple projectiles on at the moment. Uh, scalpel, when you're in double shot mode, it has um, double projectiles by default, so I will be getting 
times six projectiles right now whilst using this. Like you can see just how much damage that's doing. <laughs> Most of those weren't even headshots. And it's hitting for a turn. Um, okay, that's a... Yeah, that's a good um, defensive to get right there. And a big hippo. Magazine size 80. I would rather just find something which has a... I could re-roll that, but... Um, I'd having I'd have to lose more rich privilege value to do it. That said, um, despite having the rich privileges, I'm gonna start doing um, weapon upgrade uh, weapon upgrades now because this scalpel is what we'll use for the rest of the run, and the weapon upgrade will outvalue the rich privileges on a weapon like this. It just scales a lot better. Like, um, with how little we're using skills compared to weapons, like, it doesn't make sense to um, still be relying on rich privileges for damage, and it'll just make me really bad on the bosses, and I could just be uh, one-shotting everything with this weapon, with this scalpel. The annoying thing is I have to keep the lower moves, I can't swap to a uh, foundry during these uh, jumping vaults, because uh, i got to keep this scalpel out still to not uh, remove the extra projectile stacks I have kill the plus two projectiles per enemy kill. Um, ooh, interesting. Copper miner, or screw it by, but I'll do that. And... Hmm. I mean, usually, usually I'm uh, activating my shield recharge with the uh, the shield anyway. So most of the time, resolute would be uh, bad here. But um, I think because of how I'm using tidal aspis at the moment, I think uh, it makes it a lot more um, useful. Max shields or HP. I quite like the HP. Gives us a bit more chance of surviving if the shields get broken. That said, the um, the shields I do get extra value from when I retract the uh, the tidal aspis. But despite that, I think um, you won't. You only have that defense for I think it's five seconds anyway. So. The defense outside of that, just having the extra HP, it gives you a bit more HP than it does shields when you take one of those chests, so I'd rather take the other option there. But yeah, I showed um I showed just how strong um plus projectiles was in a recent run. But on um on the scalpel that's especially true just because of the whole thing with double fire. You you basically have um, plus one projectiles, plus 100% uh, consumption on this weapon just by default. I'll do a... Oh. <laughs> I saw an orange and then I noticed what it was. One of those, uh, like Realm of Corrosion, Realm of Fire, any of those would be really big right now. This really is zigzag and they're turning ages to kill them. Oh, we'll kill the other monk as well, he's being a bit annoying right now. Oh wait, oh okay, I'll swap for a sec. I, I need to be remembering to use the um after a bit more, I do get more uh, weapon damage and such after after attracting, and also it gives me the ammo refill. If I'm shooting the entire time, I'm going to end up running out of ammo every now and then. Uh, 
I don't think, no, I don't want any more of that. That's overkill to get any more, uh, any more points than that, but rank 2 of this is very good, and getting it to the rank 3 would make my defense uh, really, really strong. Okay, we've got multiple elites here. It is a bit of a scary event, but we'll see how we do. Oh god, I'm surprised I even dodged that as uh, the uh, body play. Oh, and I just activated my... Uh... Oh my god. Oh, thank god our defense is so good. Or not, not defense, um, our damage is so good. Yeah, I didn't play that very well. I got quite lucky. Flowing time is insane here. Nice. Oof. Scary event. Oh, there's rank 3. Yeah, will you take that? That's for sure. Yeah, we got a lot of cooldown reduction all of a sudden. So, that is nice for staying alive. I got ty uh, plus 11 on the scalpel now. This is going to be stacking a merciless combo to the max, potentially. It's going to be stacking it a lot. I'll have to check, actually. Oh yeah, yeah, that can max out. Good. Uh, no, that's... Wow, that's actually got a pretty small magazine size. I thought, um... I thought that weapon had uh, the Angelical. I thought it had a big one by default. I guess not. Thank god I'd, um, I just retracted Aspis, I just got hit by one of, like, the biggest attacks in the game. The, um, like, purple ball things these guys fire, they're really slow, but they hit very hard, so that was quite dumb to not be paying attention to them there. Okay, one more. He's the last one, right? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a vault, so we keep going. Right, now we'll keep killing these things for now. Oh, he's corrosive. Where's he gone? There he is. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of that monk first. Sent me speed. Uh, we're not doing many blocks with the uh, with the Aspis, so I think more points in that or getting it to the rank three is not very good. I quite like taking the rank one of this just to make our move speed a little better once again. We have still got that heavy shield, so we're slower than normal, and um, I think we're certainly. Uh, not fast enough to be dodging a lot of boss attacks right now, so I quite like just getting a bit more of that, and it still gives us a weapon damage boost, so it's still helping in that sense. Wow, our cooldown's really not long at all, actually, on the Tide Laspis. Get rid of shards first. Here's that nice.
Nice. Skill boosters uh, all right here, actually. We stack it up really, really quick. Um, that's not bad. 75% is a big, uh, big boost in weapon damage. And... Oh, okay, I nearly missed this. And we're regening our shields a lot of the time whenever we get hit at all. <laughs> well, we already have this, but sure we'll take the enhanced one, may as well. Yeah, being able to crit when you don't hit weak spot is pretty powerful. Especially uh, if you're running weapons like the rocket launchers that can't crit usually, then it becomes a lot stronger. Okay, we got the challenge event that doesn't affect us at all, that's nice. Uh, sure, we'll try that. I think it, uh, it'll probably... In fact, yeah, because because we didn't buy anything in the end, it definitely uh just gets us a bit more gold, so no harm there. Okay, serpent should be able to kill this somewhat quickly. Oh yeah, we certainly can. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even realize he was doing that attack to be honest. Scalpel's pretty insane right now. Don't need elemental effects in the slightest when this thing's doing so much. Speaking of elemental effects, uh, I'll just scrap this. <laughs> There's no way in hell this uh, one turns to using elemental weave. Um, yeah, rank 3 of this. We once again have our extra weapon damage based on bonuses to striking punch, so even more striking punch damage, I think, will just add more damage to the scalpel, so that's pretty good. Okay, they lose us some water. I have copycat already, this event sucks. <laughs> this makes it take way longer than usual as well. Let's see what's in this. Ah oh, well, that's uh, that's an easy choice. Thanks for gold. This will lose HP. We'll regen that back pretty quickly as soon as we start getting hit. still alive. Oh, there's still gold down. Oh, I could have that in the meantime. I thought I saw something jump behind me, that's why I like randomly looked back, but I think it was just coming from up the cliff there. Oh yeah, it's that guy. Okay. Ta -da. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, okay, yeah, that was good reactions. I guess I like, jumped over the hill then. for a lot. Rich privileges plus the extra damage to max health, like, okay, let's go with this first. It's pretty tanky. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't realize I'll back myself into the corner there. Sharing a magazine with that, that's for sure. Oh, oh I really want to check what's on that fire dragon. <laughs> it's not the worst. I need to be careful not to, uh, with the extra rate of fire, it might force my reload. I need to uh, watch out for that. If that happens during the boss, I lose a ton of damage. Nope. Oh yeah, that jumps a thing by the way. That's doing the thing uh, I said about where you dash normally, then tie the last to reset the jump. I thought this was a elite vault for some reason, so... Oh wait, uh, do I want that? Probably, actually. I'm not really dashing, am I? Yeah, I don't really need dash at all in this build, so I'll use this instead. I might swap it out if uh, it's the like, shield break is minus move speed on boss or something, but for the most part I think I'm just going to be keeping this. Also, wait, did I? I don't know if I use Craftsman now or not. It's not the end of the world if I didn't, like... Either way, if I forget to upgrade, I keep some rich privileges value. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's try that. Oh, okay. That is uh, more than enough lucky shot now. I think I was already uh, putting for red lucky shot a lot of the time, but... We'll certainly will now if we're headshotting. That's over here. Yeah, that. At least we're, we're not overcapped on lucky shots. Still getting a lot of... Oh, my. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's an invincible enemy. He exploded behind me. I wasn't paying attention to that. But that just like instantly broke my shield. I don't think I had the... Um, Extra shields from retracting uh, specifically. Even so, that was a lot of damage. Good old uh, reincarnation 8, everything hits pretty hard. Gotta be paying attention to that shield thing the whole time. As soon as that breaks, you're pretty screwed in, uh, in most builds. Oh, 
your defense power through. Nice, okay, the penguin's gone, that's the important part. Is that him? Oh, I think it did. I lost a um, stack of my phantom skin. Let's kill him. Yeah, this, uh, this is feeling completely um, different from the last turtle run I played. It was staying in the uh, Tidal Aspis and spamming Hurtle repeatedly. This time it's like you don't use Hurtle at all really. And you just kind of, you don't really use Punch much either anymore. It's just a case of you swap in and out of Aspis for the extra weapon damage in the reload. And then from that... Yeah, the scalpel just kills everything. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty good, actually. And what, once again, it's a no element run, and it's actually optimal to be going no element here, which feels good. It's nice that the um, elemental fusions just aren't always, like, the best combo to be doing. And this is, like, a really good example of that. And rank 3 of the hostile gift, then. I'm gonna scrap this for a bit of extra gold. And we do this, the last. So it's an elite vault right before. There we go. And uh, this will be the cavalry fight. To slows, that's perfect. Because the uh, corrosion shard only gives us immunities to like regular corrosion effect, it doesn't give immunity to all slows. I assume this will make me immune to the event as well. Uh, oh, well, it's not the event I was thinking, but this one's a slow as well, so I need to make sure to not swap weapon at all. There's now no chance to be getting the um, extra projectiles back. Yeah, this should be a pretty quick uh, pull mark fight. Yeah, look at that. Woo. A lot of weapon damage. Oh, he's doing that time. Kind of <laughs> yeah, I think we've got more than enough uh, DPS there. Pretty, pretty easy fight. Ta -da. Cool, GG. So yeah, pretty nice build. We got the um, rich privileges was using for a while, so we were kind of. A bit skill focused early on. I, I do always want to go weapon damage eventually though with the uh, Leap of Warriors start giving us um, the extra weapon damage equal to the striking punch bonuses. It looks like that does help scale the weapon damage a lot. This was hitting for a ton. And uh, yeah with the dominating fists as well that gives the, um, the extra damage to the Leap of Warrior. This makes a pretty decent combo in general. 
Um, and we had some just really good weapon damage bonuses here. So we had like the explosive bullets adding a lot, the uh, merciless combos in a 100% boost when you've got a high enough fire rate like this. Like all of those are, yeah, doing a doing huge damage boosts to, to everything. So the, the skill damage boost didn't really matter by the end. This, uh, this weapon hits like a truck. Um, the other most important thing, of course, was the, um, the no reload setup had a, against the flow with Genesis. So even with a magazine size of 80, shooting at double, um, double shots, uh, double ammo consumption, like is still able to keep up with the ammo regen. And having the reload on the um, Tidal Aspis build, he helps a lot. Uh, but yeah, the uh, weapon damage build on this character is easily as good as the skill damage build, if not better, into the late game, because you don't have to worry about anything like UFOs. Um, having this for your reloads, you can be using this equally as well on things like Demon Law. Um, but a scalpel that has the uh, 0.2 projectiles every enemy kill, that's, uh, that's an immediately a win condition if you have a no, uh, way to no reload. I got very lucky with the um, gains of flow almost immediately afterwards. Um, but regardless, yeah, it it would have uh, it would have been something I could have set up into with just the Tidal Aspis reloads. I think. But yeah, let's have a look at the uh, end score. <laughs> That's a pretty big hit considering that might have been from a uh, punch rather than a scalpel shot. But if that is a scalpel shot, that's a lot. Did uh, seventy five percent of our total damage. Um, thirty eight percent crit rate. Uh, <laughs> didn't use the lightning blast at all, of course. And yeah, there's all our scrolls. We're still capped out on essence. And yeah, uh, sub hour run as well, so pretty quick overall. We uh, we got the build going pretty early on, and yeah, I didn't really have a big kind of struggle point in the run. Like our damage was probably worse towards the first boss, which um, doesn't matter too much. It's uh, just Luwu, so you can kind of take as long as you want on that. As long as you're um, good enough at dodging the abilities, then should be completely fine. But anyway, um, so next uh, next run uh, walkthrough, I'm going to be doing uh, the dog last. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one for Turtle, and I will see you next time. Have a good day. I'll see ya.